We are here at the CSA Chantilly Card Show in Virginia. This weekend is gonna be awesome. Now, I shouldn't say this weekend. I'm only gonna be here for Saturday doing one of those solid 20 hour days, but I love this show. In fact, you can find a ton of pre-war cards, non-sports, oddball, like this is one of my favorite card shows in the country. And if you have the opportunity to go here, definitely check out the show. Anyways, my goal today is to buy quite a few raw cards. Now that grading costs are a lot lower, I can take that opportunity to buy cards raw, send them to get graded, and then sell them. Where in the past, I mostly focused on already graded cards. So I'm gonna take you guys along the way and let's find some deals. Okay, take a look at your Pee Wee Reese. Sure. <laughs> you take 160 on it. You have 200. Let's do like 175. Let's do 175. I got it. Will you take 90 on it? You had 100. This is the last and final call for okay. Michael Vick. Again, they're, they're getting to be more expensive. He doesn't have a ton of autos. Huh? He doesn't have a ton of I autos. Know he doesn't. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Enjoy. I will. So we ended up picking up that 2007 Verlander for $100. I know the seller didn't want to budge, but it was a good deal. One thing though, I mean, if you're to show, always try to ask it for a little bit of deal. Unless a dealer is already giving you like 15 or 20% off and already stated that from the beginning, since you've done a lot of business with them, you never know. Every five or $10 in deals does add up. But Justin Verlander early autos are pretty good. He doesn't sign that much in products and triple threads is technically a higher end baseball product, especially back in 2007. He's still in the playoffs as well. So his cards are moving. I know it will be baseball off season, but should have no issue with that card. One thing I love about the CSA show here in Virginia is there's a ton of dealers with oddball releases, both non-sports and also pre-war. But the best part is about that is education because I can ask dealers about new sets. I found one here from a 1935 I never knew existed and we're about to learn about it right now. Hi, these are uh, 1935 Rice Sticks t-shirts. These were issued in the uh, actual shirts, the button-down shirts, you'd get a card in the pocket. This is a complete set, there was only two, the two Dean brothers. Naturally, Dizzy was a little better than Paul, but they were both very good baseball players. And, and these, uh, they're on like a strange type of um, paper that's textured, so a lot of them didn't survive. And plus the fact they were issued in the uh, pockets of the t-shirts. And that's a neat set, and one of my favorites. What do you guys have on your 55 mantle? Uh, 450. 450? Would you do 425? Oh, yeah, that works. Awesome. Let's do it. Breakout. How's it going? Time, Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. That, that was one of the easiest negotiations I think I've heard all day. That's, that's all? I missed half of it. Like, no, that was it. I just said, oh. Yeah, 450, take 425. Yep. That's all I do it, like, though. Make, make it like easy that. for people. <laughs> all right. Take a look at your Minozo. Your 54 Bowman. I'm sorry. Point, point to me. These are not my cards. Oh, no worries. This okay. one? Yeah. Are you over there? Yeah, they're, well, we're both together, but these are his cards. Got it. Hold on. I comp this as a one. As a one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see it like the, yeah. the line in there. Yeah. I think it's a pen line, not to tell you the truth. So, yeah, can no, you take 175 on it? 180. Let's do it. All right. So this maze was a no-brainer buy. There was a, definitely an indent on the card, taking a look at the light. But I mean, I paid under what a one goes for. So with grading costs being about $20 a card, I'll send it out. Probably expect like a 1.5, maybe a two. But even if it came back as an A or a 1, still not doing too bad because they're about 225 to 250-ish depending on the condition of that card. Some of you guys might know the post zero cards. They're typically hand cut, already slabbed as A's or pretty low grades. But this is a full box all together. One of the really cool items here at the show.
Before we jump into this next deal, if you guys enjoy card show vlogs like this, please hit subscribe. It helps out the YouTube algorithm. We're getting so close to 10,000 subscribers and I can't wait to hit this milestone. I love the K-Bats, but I love other stuff is higher priority for me. Do you have anything else with you that you're selling or just those? Oh, just those. Really cool. So it's Smoke Kalamazoo. I just don't see this stuff. $800, we got a deal. Here with the Collector Connection, and they have such a unique piece of baseball history. I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm gonna let the guy over here tell you about this. This was really cool. It stopped me on my tracks. We have Spirit of the Times from 1858. There was a three-game series between the All-Stars from Brooklyn and the All-Stars from Manhattan. And those three games are considered the precursor to professional baseball as we know it today. They were the first games that admission was ever charged to. We have the rubber match here of game three with the box score on the cover of the newspaper. And amazingly, a box score from 1858, you can still recognize it as a box score from today. Then we have other issues of competing newspapers with baseball content, three others from the great match. These two here, there is a player named Jim Creighton, you can look him up on Wikipedia, was considered the first great pitcher of all time. And he died tragically at only 22 years old. Can you do 50 on these three? That's fine, I'll do that. That's a card show first, yeah, mustard packet got drenched all over my legs. Pick up after yourself, but ended up picking up those three cards. So Seaver is a gold refractor number 50. I figure it's probably in here from like a 10 to a $25 card. Not the most liquid, but something you can just throw online and it'll eventually sell. Those two Boston cards I'm setting up in Boston next week. So Pedroia always super popular up there. I see those cards in showcases. That one was number to 10. Figured it's either gonna be really good trade bait or something that I can sell. And then John Lester also, I believe won one or two championships in Boston. Correct me if I am wrong, but that was also an early triple threads. I think it was $15. So pretty easy deal there. Here's your book, by the way. All right. All the Twenty bucks. Twenty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So I wrote right here, Chantilly, 2022, and then so I can share. Why and Nolan? You know why I read yep. your name? Because your name is Nolan Ryan. Ryan the best name, right? It's actually a guy that his name is also the same name as yours. Really? And uh, he's always buying Nolan Ryan cards. There you go. All right. So thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna look through your Tito six stack and then I'll go through your Hall of Famers over there. Thank you. Well, that's gonna be that one. We gotta do me a favor. Sure. I'll make sure they come out. Okay. I've been, I don't know what this my fingers, but I'm all. So it's always better just to double yeah, check. Double check those numbers. Sounds good. Let me double check that real quick. So we ended up doing 6,800 for all this stuff. Wait till you guys see the huge lot that we picked up. So these are the ones at the very end right here. So those are here, right? Hoggins, Baker, Hornsby, and also other Hoggins. Tinker, Sister, Hornsby. Alexander Wall, 33, and five. Collins and Hornersby, ET20 Hooper and Frisch, W502. A huge W575, or it's not 575, it's a huge yeah. light. Gosling, Williams, Frisch, Missouri, Rice, Green, 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 then this stack and this and that was part of 
That's somewhere in there. Yeah, I stuck you there. Uh, Sweet. Yeah. That should be yeah. everything. Yep. <laughs> As always, I appreciate it. I'll see you in Columbus in what? Is it two or three? Three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, we just made a massive deal. You see all this over here, all these slabs, all of these raw cards as well. $6,800 in total. Let's go over some of the highlights before we go into these next deals. I mean, E21, George Sisler. We have a Joe Tinker T207. We have a bunch of W502s. Some of them were slabbed already. Uh, you guys can see over there, all Hall of Famers and such. But like, even here, like these are extremely nice. It could not pass them up. And E90 Ed Walsh, W572, Clover Alexander, Rogers Hornsby, always a pop. Then also, speaking of Hornsby, you have this one right here. So I don't know if this will be PC or I'll end up selling it, but this is definitely going to get graded. Just all those and just a ton of galleys. And all the backs are perfect. Some of these have creases as well. There's that. Walter Hagen. We'll see if I can upgrade. I have a seven in this, so we'll see if I can get higher than a seven or not. And then uh, E93 and another E90, but really incredible haul at the CSA Chantelisha. That last lot purchase was perfect. I think there's about 40 cards in total. Probably 60 to 70% of it was raw vintage. But like, if you look at some of those pre-war cards, obviously there's some meters in there. There's some hand-cut cards that might get end up getting an A or whatever but a lot of those things look like they could be in that mid-grade three to five shape and when you're talking about 100 plus year old cards you can't pass that opportunity up that dealer will over there i buy from him all the time at card shows always great to deal with so 6800 can't go wrong how's it going absolutely yeah i love it we watch it all the time thank you it. usually my son's with me i'm not used to selfies that's all right there you this go. is cool hopefully i did this right you did it my son, yeah. we watch it all the time. I really I appreciate said, Do you it. think he's going to be there? He goes, no, he's not going to be at Chantilly. Yeah, no, I'm Are here. Are you here tomorrow too? No, I'm doing a 20 hour day. Just here all day, fly in, fly out, everything man, like that. I love that. your stuff. Thank you. It so cool. Thank you. I really appreciate you watching the videos. Oh, we love it, man. All right, so I got your two slabs. Here's everything besides the money. I'll have to do Venmo or PayPal for that. Okay, that's fine. Unless I can pawn this, the rest of this vintage off on you. <laughs> Those will be good. That's awesome. Right here, all this. And I know we were super close. What did you end up thinking, like price-wise? When you said 150 cash, you're good with that. that okay. Sweet. But if you'll take any more of my vintage, I'll give you more of that in trade. You have vintage baseball or? Yeah, just the stuff I showed you. What? The stuff I already showed you. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good on those. Check this out. Oh, let me show in the vlog what I ended up giving away. So, gave away Mitch Marner, literally bought this raw, got a 10. Connor McDavid, dollar box to a 10. Can't go wrong with those. Here you go. In return, we're getting a booklet, Babe Ruth, over here at the back. This one is number to 49. Getting a Johnny Mize, the 49 Leaf. And then, you guys know I like my rock cards. One of the original albums over here from 1997. Pretty cool because now I can document this on the website and like this isn't filled in. And then we also have this as well. Let's check this out. Oh. Things are just like flying out of this right now. It's to make it into like a real like binder. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, that's for like, so the one is for the stickers and that's for the cards. Oh, okay, so stickers in there and then cards in here from 1997. But like, this is great for documentation because none of that is out there. You guys can see the list over here. This is from Argentina to my knowledge, but really, really cool. I don't think I can bring these on the plane though, because they're gonna be like, uh, what is this? <laughs> Shanks! <laughs> another quick deal, 225, we got this Willie Mays as well as Ted Williams, and another Willie Mays 58s on both these, the All Stars, and we have a classic 1956. Now, the 56 you can't see on video, 
but it does have a few different creases so that's why that is price tag of that one but these weren't too bad that's it for the chantilly card show we spent about nine thousand dollars today ton of great pickups by the way if you didn't watch my video last year click this right here i actually picked up a john l sullivan allen and kinter in a5 what an amazing card make sure to watch that vlog